It's about time. It's about time. But Thierry, we've yes. talked so much yes. about the top teams, but we've not spoken about Bayern Munich. Can they win this tournament? Can they? Yes. We often see them as the a team that's going to be a team that can win it. So can they win it? Yes, I think we've, uh, with the guys that they brought in, uh, we all know what they can do. I know they lost uh, in, uh, in the German Cup against uh, Saarbrücken, but they rectified that straight away against uh, Dortmund at the weekend easily. Um, and when you have Kane in your rank, you know, and, and, and being able to play with him and, and him being able to score goals, I know, I know my man over there, <laughs> Dexon, wants to talk about it. Yeah, talk about the impact. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to okay. talk about the ex Tottenham player and how well he's been ah, doing. He's been on fire, man. 17 goals, seven assists in all competitions. We know that he could do it in the Premier League. We know he could do it with England. But now he's doing it in another league in another country. And that's why he's a top striker in the world. Yeah, and the reason why they've got a great chance, the home record is absolutely Ooh. fantastic. It's almost 10 years since they've lost a home in the group stage, which is absolutely wow. phenomenal. And the last team to actually go there and win was Micah Richards' Manchester City. Well, you Micah. know, I, 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 didn't want, I didn't want to say that, but now that you brought well, do you it want up. To, do you want me to tell you exactly what happened? T tell me exactly, because I know you're going to anyway. Here's the team sheet. Micah Richards is involved there. Manchester City win 3-2 at Bayern Munich. Look at him. Oh, that well, is... If I told you, though, that after 16 minutes, Micah Richards left the Left field. The field. <laughs> And Manchester City <laughs> were losing 2 0. Oh no. And then ended up winning 3 2. Oh, bad time. <laughs> anyway, moving on swiftly. <laughs> I'm the host. Calm down, will you? Oh, uh, yeah. Eric, can we yes. talk about your beloved Arsenal? Yes, we can. What are you going to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Please talk to me. They've done very well yes. in, a, in a difficult group. Yes. A good a yes. good result last time out. Yeah. Um, against Much Seville. needed one. Away from home as well. So talk to me through how far can this, this team go? Well, I think it was very important for them, obviously, to win in, in Sevilla. Uh, I don't think it's going to be an easy game tonight. Um, I think they're doing, they're doing well. Uh, we all know the first defeat happened at, uh, at Newcastle. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you see that goal, I can't, I can't, you know, that's, that's a great strike. The only problem with uh, Gabriel Jesus is he often gets injured, unfortunately for him and, uh, and, and for us. But it was a hell of a strike and not only the goal, but he played extremely well on the night. So that was a much needed win and hopefully they can do it tonight. So, the re you know, the rest is... Thierry, seeing... what are your thoughts on how the managers behaved in the last few days? The manager behaved as you would behave as a manager at, at the end of the game. I've been in that situation when you feel like your team got robbed, right? You don't look at the, op the opposition, you don't say, they, uh, for me, I thought that Kaya should have got uh, sent off on the tackle that he did, that actually sparked the game. Because mm -hmm. after that, it became, it became like a chaotic uh, game. But at the end of the game, you need to understand that when a coach goes to speak to the, to the, to the press, he can't cool off at that particular moment. It's very difficult for him to not, to not get upset about, about what happened. What I think was a bit annoying for him is what he did say about the Liverpool goal at Tottenham, which you can see they are trying to make the best decision. We need to understand that mistakes happen. He's talking about the referees. And obviously, when it happens to your team, after we can see what he said uh, on, on the screen, you know, it's, it's, it's something that but you would the... always do as, as a coach. You defend your team, you defend your players. Where I was still surprised is this still mention it three to four days after after the club actually made a statement whether you like it or you don't you could have left it there and say look the club talked let's move on and concentrate on the game uh, against uh, against Sevilla which as a coach is always difficult because you're trying to to front for your team you're trying to to make sure to say hey, guys I'm with you you know I'm going to go out there and talk I, I don't think it was necessary to uh, reiterate that three to four days after. But as a coach, you're always going to defend your team. But do you think he wanted to double down, though, Thierry? Because if he said something, and then a couple of days later, he can't make a U-turn, can he? But uh, like I said, he didn't have to. You could have said, the club has spoken. Now let's move on to the game that we have in the Champions League. 
That's 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 about that's about it. I understand. I look, I'm talking here, sitting here. It's all nice. When it did happen to me, you would have said to me, Terry, don't speak. I would I, I would have said something because it's within you. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that the, the club did speak, and that's that's about it. Let's move on. And like I said, Kayavet should have got sent off on 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 the day. Okay, uh, two other teams who can qualify: Inter Milan and mm. Real Madrid. Jamie, talk us through Inter Milan, please. Well, finalist last year, mm -hmm. I think the coach is, uh, I think he's top draw. I think he's really good in Zaghi. I actually played against his brother in a Champions League final in 2007. Ooh, wow. They were uh, bad Marcus. nightmares for us. But, uh, but no, I think how close they took Manchester City in the final just shows the work that he's done. I mean, mm -hmm. Lukaku has to score in that game. And then, you know, they take it maybe to, you know, extra time. Maybe who knows, they can go on a win. But I think they look like a serious threat yeah. to Manchester City, who for me look like the biggest favourites in the competition. And I think they're one of three or four other teams, as you mentioned, Real Madrid, maybe Bayern Munich, as we've mentioned before, who could possibly be one of the outsiders to win the competition. Clint, who are your favourites this year? I'm, I'm, I'm sure this time last year you said Spurs. <laughs> 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 oh damn! Uh, the receipts came back to haunt me, didn't they? Uh, so you this know year, how it goes, think... you know how it goes sometimes. <laughs> maybe good, sometimes maybe, <laughs> maybe bad. Yeah. So who are you gonna go with this year? Uh, I agree with what Jamie said. Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Man you know, City. Yeah, Man City. That, that looks like the, the teams are gonna take it. TT. Like I, I, From a I, coach's I, point of view. Oh, it's the same. Looking you know, at these teams, it's always the same teams at the end in the final. We we had a oh, okay. We hadn't tell Milan making the final uh, last year, but for me, they were on the right side of the draw. I don't know if they would have gone through being on the, on the, on the other side of the draw. So at the end of the day, you have to play who you have to play, but you can't pass mm -hmm. the fact that those guys are often in the final. You know, City obviously now are coming along. They're not often in finals. Now, they, they obviously, maybe they can repeat. But Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, it's tough to beat those teams. Well, my work is done here. I was a, I was a brilliant host. <laughs> hey, the host with the most. Okay. Back to you. Do we need Kate? Yeah. I don't think we do. <laughs> what is your problem with me? Get it, Ryan? Do we need Kate? I don't think we do. 